How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Talking Wow. This is your World of Wrestling recap and preview show right here on the No Holds Barred Network. You can find World of Wrestling live every Wednesday night at 6 p.m. Eastern Time on the Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash noholdsbarredgaming. And you can find that again every Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. If you need a link, it'll be down in the description below for you. Guys, we are here to preview week number seven and also to recap last week, which was week number six, the pay-per-view fallout show uh, from the pay-per-view with arms wide open. We are now officially on the road to uh, one last breath. And it was an incredible show. It was a great show. A lot happened. And we're going to recap it right here to get you guys caught up with the world of wrestling and then preview this coming Wednesday show, which is sure to be another fire show right here in the E Federation world and right here on World of Wrestling. So let's get into the recap first, folks. And we had the Bullet Era um, debuting uh, on World of Wrestling. It was Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, and Kenny Omega to come out and speak their words to the WoW Universe. And CM Punk and Seth Rollins also came out and had their issue. CM Punk having his issue with Adam Cole. Seth Rollins having his issue with Kenny Omega. We heard from both of them. We heard what we had to or we heard what we had to hear from both of them. And this ended up turning into a built match for this coming week. And what we are going to get, folks, is a tag team elimination match. Seth Rollins and CM Punk taking on Kenny Omega and Adam Cole of Bullet Era this coming Wednesday on World of Wrestling at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. That is going to be our main event of the evening as well, so you guys are going to want to tune in for that. It's going to be one hell of a matchup. Also, that happened last week. We had the beginning of our Hybrid Fighting Championship Tournament. If you guys don't know about the Hybrid Fighting Championship Tournament, it is a unique style of tournament coming here to the world of wrestling i'll recap you guys with the rules once again so here we are guys here are the rules for this tournament it is an eight-man tournament it is a hybrid style between mma and wrestling uh all the competitors will be wearing mma style gloves and no wrestling boots so everything will be illegal open shots will be legal matches will be contested only in ring they cannot leave the ring and you must win the match by either submission or knockout so knockouts can happen in this tournament and it can happen at any point uh, there are no DQs or rope breaks either. So if we take a look at what happened this past Wednesday on World of Wrestling, uh, we had uh, Cody Rhodes and Zack Sabre Jr. take on each other in the opening contest of the Hybrid Fighting Championship, as you can see there. We had a very, very great start to this tournament. Very, uh, very much of a, a hybrid style. We've seen wrestling moves. We've seen some mission moves. We've seen some open shots from both competitors, and as you can see there, no wrestling boost. They are allowed to tape their feet, um, and it, they have to wear the MMA traditional style gloves, and this was filmed in an undisclosed location uh, for this tournament, and uh, it was definitely an awesome crowd that we had on hand, but this was a great first match in this tournament to give you guys a little sneak peek of what to expect in this tournament going forward. Again, hybrid style between MMA uh, fighting and professional wrestling as we've seen here a lot of crazy moves even Cody reaching back into a, cr a crossfade like maneuver there and then you can see here as well the open drop kick but it was Zack Sabre Jr. pulling off this submission move to actually make Cody Rhodes give up in the first match of the HFC tournament and Zack Sabre Jr. pulling off the upset and moving on in this unique style tournament we have here in the world of wrestling. So I hope you guys enjoyed that first match. If you haven't, you can go back and watch it. From now on, all the world of wrestling videos will be posted right here on the YouTube channel for you guys to go back and watch as well. So go back and watch that. It was an incredible first uh, match in the tournament. We also had uh, an unexpected attack on World of Wrestling. So we had an attack by Lance Archer on this past Wednesday show. I, he attacked Pac for no reason. We haven't heard anything from the Murder Hawk yet as to why this unprovoked attack to Pac. He was completely decimated in the locker room, being thrown around everywhere, into the lockers, into the tables. And Lance Archer, there's, there's no reason as to why. And, and now Pac is in jeopardy because he was supposed to be in that HSC tournament and there is no timetable for his return. As you see here, just Lance Archer just completely destroying Pac in the locker room. We hope to get a word in to, from Lance Archer as to why these unprovoked attacks even happened. So uh, Lance Archer making make, maybe going after Pac for whatever reason. We'll have to see what happens on this Wednesday show. 
Um, we also had Darby going one-on-one -on -one with Ricochet in one-on-one -on -one competition. But we had the interesting note here. Finn Balor was watching Darby Allen backstage as this match was happening. So we saw that him watching Darby in his entrance. Um, out of the net, as for the match itself, I mean, we have two incredible competitors here in the world of wrestling. We have nothing but the best roster here in the world of wrestling. So we had Darby Allen taking on here, the king of the sky, Ricochet, King Ricochet to some, Prince Puma to some. He's a man of many nicknames, but this was an incredible matchup, folks, that we had between Darby and Ricochet. Very, very great wrestling matchup between these two, which we saw a combination of high-flying moves, some great wrestling, and both men just putting it all on the line for the World of Wrestling Universe in this one. As we see you even here, Darby Allen with a nice leg breaker. And pulling off some innovative moves that uh, we haven't seen here in the world of wrestling so far. We even seen Ricochet hitting a Poison Rana there as you've seen. And, and Darby Allen pulling out the Code Red. But again, great matchup we had here. I suggest you guys go back and watch this matchup. It was a very, very good one-on-one -on -one matchup. Hopefully to see Darby and Ricochet in the future facing each other. Um, that would be a good one. But it was Darby hitting this Code Red here and locking in the pin, holding the shoulders back to get the win over Ricochet. But the, again, the story here, as we can see here as well, Finn Balor watching that entire match and watching Darby's celebration. So what does this mean? Finn Balor watching and keeping a close eye on Darby Allen for whatever reason. Hopefully we find out as to why he was watching Darby Allen and we find out where this is going to. Um, we also had... Uh, some other one-on-one -on -one competition actually a rematch from the pay-per-view with arms wide open We had Jay White taking on Aleister Black one-on-one, -on -one, but it wasn't a regular one-on-one -on -one match ladies and gentlemen We had a falls count anywhere match this past Wednesday on World of Wrestling And the reason for that was because at the pay-per-view Aleister Black knocked out Jay White on the outside and actually won the match via count out a lot of people were confused and were not happy with that result, so I went ahead and booked them into a rematch and put it under Falls Count Anywhere rule. So we were going to get a winner somehow, some way in this match. And boy, did we ever get a great match. This was probably better than the pay-per-view match, some might say, but we saw some incredible wrestling between Aleister Black and Jay White. And Jay White, we've seen lately just... He's had a different kind of attitude on him. Very, very confident attitude. And we can see here in this match, he, he took that attitude and transitioned it to wrestling and showing the, the world of wrestling universe. And I guess us backstage and the agents backstage that he is, uh, he should be probably used more in the, in this company. I know a lot of WoW fans out there are, 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 are just chewing at the bit and waiting for Jay White to get some sort of push in this company. I took very close notes here with this match, folks. So don't you worry. I will be... Uh, talking with Mr. White sometime soon. As you can see here, this is how he won the match. Hitting his finishing move in the middle of the ring and defeating Aleister Black in the rematch. Then he falls count anywhere. Jay White uh, proving to us, I guess, backstage in the WoW universe that he is not <laughs> not to be messed with. And you know what? I th I'm loving this attitude of Jay White. I'm loving this confidence. You know, So we're going to do something with him. So to you Jay White fans out there, please be patient with him. Also on last week's show, we had the we're supposed to get the Kenneth Cloverleaf Invitational, which is an exciting part here of World of Wrestling. But the crazy lunatic Brock Lesnar has at it again, and this time now going after Kenneth Cloverleaf for whatever reason we don't actually know. But he just absolutely destroyed Ken Cloverleaf before his Invitational matchup. We didn't even get to see who was supposed to face Kenneth Cloverleaf in this Invitational match, and. Brock Lesnar is an out-of-control beast. He just absolutely destroyed Ken Cloverleaf at ringside there and finished it off with his F5 onto the steel steps. There is no word as to how this affected Kenneth Cloverleaf and if he is okay. But uh, you know what? If we cannot get a Kenneth Cloverleaf Invitational, I have booked Brock Lesnar in a match for this coming Wednesday. He will be in action on this Wednesday show. Because he needs to pay for these actions that he's been doing over the last couple of months here in World of Wrestling. And then uh, last week's main event, ladies and gentlemen, we had the World of Wrestling Tag Team Championship Tournament continue in round number two. This is the first match in round number two. We had the Young Bucks taking on the best friends in all AEW type matchup. And best friends are the ones who are their story here. Their first round matchup is being touted as the best match in this tournament so far. So they had their uh, 
They had their plate full against one of the best tag teams in the world today. The Young Bucks, you can see here, even hitting the bang for your buck in this matchup. This was a great match. I, I very much enjoyed this match, and I think the World of Wrestling Universe enjoyed this match. It was a mix of great wrestling. We've seen a lot of cool, innovative moves, a lot of finishers from both teams. Um, the Young Bucks, interesting first-round matchup they had. They were able to win uh, by countout. Um, which uh, that led to the no count out rule in this tournament for the rest of the tournament so far But the young bucks uh, taking that to their advantage in this one improving to the world and the wow universe why they are touted as the best uh, Wrestling tag team in the world, um, but unfortunately It didn't lead to a victory as it was Chuck Taylor hitting this move on Matt Jackson to eat the feet which confused Nick I don't think he I think he thought his brother was gonna kick out but the best friends pulling the upset again on the Young Bucks and moving on to the semifinals of this tag team tournament and one step closer to potentially maybe becoming the World of Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Will the best friends be able to do it? We'll find out in round number three when we get there, but round number two will continue this week. Stay tuned for the preview show as to which second round matchup we are going to see this Wednesday on World of Wrestling. So that was your show last week, guys. Again, it is posted live on this YouTube channel right now. For you guys to go back and watch the full episode. And from now on, all the episodes and pay-per-views will be posted right here on the YouTube channel. If you miss the live show every Wednesday on Twitch at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. So without further ado, folks, let's get into that preview show. And we'll start right there with, I, with what I just said. The World of Wrestling Tag Team Tournament, our second round two matchup this week, is going to be American Alpha taking on the Good Brothers. American Alpha were in the first, very first match in this tournament and had a very great match against the Undisputed Era. The Good Brothers also, I think, I believe the Good Brothers won by countout as well. So hopefully we don't get a count on this one and we for sure won't because there is no countouts left in this Tag Team Championship tournament. Who will move on to the semifinals along with the best friends in this World Tag Team Championship tournament? We're going to find out this Wednesday on World of Wrestling. We're also going to have Finn Balor in one-on-one competition as he takes on who is now being known as Smooth Kenta. Friend, this was a name labeled by the world of wrestling fans out there. So Smooth Kenta will be going one-on-one -on -one with Finn Balor in competition. Like I said, also, we're going to have Brock Lesnar in action this coming Wednesday on World of Wrestling. Uh, is it's, it's still being I'm still being told that the Kenneth Clover the Invitational is in jeopardy of even happening this week. So if we do not have it, Brock Lesnar is still going to be in one-on-one -on -one competition and he will be in action this coming Wednesday. The HFC Hybrid Fighting Championship Tournament is going to continue as well. We are going to have Kevin Owens taking on John Moxley in a very, very highly anticipated match in this tournament. Uh, we saw that Cody Rhodes and uh, Zack Sabre Jr. and the style of that wrestling, we're going to get that style between these two combatants, John Moxley and Kevin Owens, one on one. And you've seen it, folks, for weeks that we have. When we declared war on GOW and we've had the propaganda from both companies, it is now coming to a head. May 14th, we're going to have the Ground Zero pay-per-view, GOW versus WOW. So you're going to want to tune into World of Wrestling this coming Wednesday because we're going to have the official match card announcement of the official card we're going to get at this pay-per-view, which will be Friday, May 14th again, uh, live here on Twitch, folks. Ground Zero, GOW versus WOW. And in our main event, again, folks, this coming Wednesday on World of Wrestling, we have Seth Rollins and CM Punk teaming up against the Bullet Era and Bullet Era members Adam Cole and Kenny Omega. And this will be a tag team elimination style match. If you don't know what that means, as soon as there's a pinfall from one of the team members, they must leave the arena and it will be up to the uh, the other team to defeat the other team. Well, you never know what could happen. We, could get a two, we can get a two-man sweep. We can end up uh, finishing with a one-on-one -on -one match. This is sure to be an incredible one. Two very or four very great competitors here in World of Wrestling. This will be our main event this coming Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time on Twitch. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is Talking Wow for today. A very short episode, but uh, giving you guys the preview and the recap from last. So, the recap from last week and the preview for this week. Hopefully, you guys tune in this coming Wednesday. If you need help with the link, it is down below for you guys. And if you miss it, it'll be posted right back here on YouTube. Hope you guys enjoy Talking Wow. This is the week number six recap week number seven preview show i'll be back here right back here next monday every monday from now on for talking wow for previewing and recapping world of wrestling 
I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.